Greetings, people of the musical gender. In my last video, I reviewed the practical note set a little bit. Then I introduced the theoretical note set. I corrected the wrong things that I said in my previous videos, so I think I made that pretty clear. Then I tried to show that you can notate almost anything with the practical note set using your 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 basic multi-designation notes that's these sharps All right and I also showed some new stuff I showed how you can still notate music with the theoretical note set All right, and you would call that basically um, a note set of combo notes or you could call them dual notes dual multi-designation notes or combo either way it works then I tried to show how you need to make clear which exact note you're referring to. I showed that, and it's easy. You do that on your first page of your musical score. You can do that real easy. Don't need to go there, because I already talked about it. All right? So, now, with the practical note set, what if you get somebody who says... Well, Joey, I challenge you, I challenge you to notate a piece of music written in an extreme key. And, and, and he or she says, bet you can't do it. I says, well, I bet you can. Now, your extreme keys, though they're rarely used, all right, one might be C flat major, which uses all seven flats, or C sharp major, which incorporates all seven sharps. All right? You say, how can you notate a piece of music like that using only your practical note set? And I say, well, I'll give you an example. Let's look at the C sharp major scale. All right? And all the note heads you see are either the practical uh, set multi-designation notes from the practical set and then all you have is two traditional note heads here and you can notate anything in that scale anything alright they say well what if you chose the C flat major scale you have this now if you know from from root to octave you'll, you'll have three traditional note heads but you still have the multi designation note heads, right? And then you have your traditional mixed in. Now this is sloppy because I had to do this by hand, but if you had music notation software, this would turn out to be pretty neat. I think it would be easily readable. But even with extreme keys, extreme cases, the practical note set will still be workable, still be nice. All right? That's my opinion. Now, what if you get somebody who says, wait a second, you, they say, Joe, you're telling us, you're telling us that there are technically so many multi-designation note heads. They say, well, you're giving us this stuff and I want to use them all. I want to use them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven multi designation note heads. They say, I want to use them all. Why do I have to pick and choose? And I say, Well, you fussy person, you, you don't have to. So now we've reached the point at which we, we talk about our third way to notate with my system. The third way, we talked about using the practical note set, that's the default. We talked about your combo or dual notes, either way, in the single-use application. Now we get to the combo notes in the split application. Okay, we call that the split. I want to show you why for the fussy person, the person who just can't be satisfied and let well enough alone. I offer, reluctantly, because I won't use it, Personally, reluctantly, I offer the extended note set. 
right? I offer the extended note set, right? Let's just look at part of it because my, my phone is very tiny. So here you have, now watch this, you have my multi-designation note head and that could represent the F flat. That's an abstract, but still, it's, it's something that we have to deal with. And then also that would be enharmonically connected. That would be the what they call the enharmonic equivalent of E. F flat and E have a little line underneath there. That means these two are the old-fashioned, traditional, enharmonic relationship. That's what they have. Then here you have my multi-designation note head on that same position. See, it's on the same position. And that would represent your E sharp or your F. See, that would be enharmonically related to the F. So you see that. You see the relationship here. You see, you see the problem when you have the note head on the same position on the staff. And how did I fix that? I just put a little dot in that note head to differentiate the, uh, this note head from this note head. It's in the same position. It's still an original qualified multi-designation note head. Now look down here. You have your B, your traditional note head, your C flat multi-designation note head, and here you have your B sharp MDN, and you have your C traditional note head. I don't know if you can see that. And so all I did was put a little dot in there to tell the fussy person who wants to use all the note heads, you can use your B sharp this way and the C this way, but they share the same position on the staff. And that'll make that clear. Now you say, well, Joey, that's so small I can barely see it. Well, let's blow it up. Let's blow it up. There you go. You put a dot inside that note head. That could be your E sharp. So this is hard to do, right? And then you would be it would be played on the F key in the keyboard. Here's your F flat with the solid note head. And then that would be played on the E key. And here's your B sharp, little dot in there. You should be able to see that on, on uh, notation paper. Uh, played on the C key. And you have your C flat with the solid note head. And that would be played on with the B key. Now, if you still can't see it clearly, let's blow it up even more. You can put the dot in your E sharp, B sharp, or B sharp MDN note head, and you can leave the other set blank. You could reverse them. It doesn't matter. You can put the dot here and leave, leave that solid. It just doesn't matter. Because I, I don't use this, and but it's here for somebody who wants to use it. Now on your half notes or whole notes, you have clear space in here in the note head. So you leave it clear, you put the dot in here, or if you want to, you can put the dot in here and leave that one clear. It just doesn't matter. But that's how you, that's how you can use the third option, which again is the combo or dual notes, right? the theoretical combo or dual notes in System 2000, in the split application, the split mode, if you want to call it that. There are three different ways to do it, and I just showed you all three. Okay? I think I covered everything, uh, but the most profound point I wanted to make was over the many, many, many years, people have something has bothered them about the staff. It just bothered them. And it still bothers people. But it doesn't bother me anymore. It doesn't bother me anymore because I just use the same process I used on all the other systems that I have. And even, even problems in life, like with business or, or people, interaction with people. Oh, people are horrible. Stay away from people. Anyway, but the point is, there's a there's a two abstracts built into this. There's two abstracts built into this system. And it's just annoyed people for centuries. And they've tried to fix it. They've tried to 
in their effort to fix it, they've tried to get rid of this, thinking this is the problem. This is not the problem. This isn't the problem. I'm keeping this. Peter Hayes George, Canadian, before he died, he said, I'm keeping this, and he kept it. All right? And this is a problem inherently built into the keyboard. All right? At least psychologically or mentally, it's a problem. But I just showed you one way to remedy the problem. And, that, and that's it. I'm going to stop at that point. The only system I haven't talked about in my videos, I know, don't panic. I probably won't do this one, but time will tell. I have what I call the scale phrase system. That's the name of my channel, scale phrase. Um, it's a system I designed uh, so that little children and beginners and even intermediate people can learn chords, learn how to put them together, take them apart, how to recognize them, and uh, just clean it up. There's hundreds of scales out there, and it's a mess. It's just a mess. And I cleaned it up. Maybe someday I'll do it, maybe not. So anyway, I want to give a uh, blanket thank you for everybody who's watched any of my videos and tolerated my low technology format. I did the best I could. I, I want to get these ideas out before I kick the bucket, before I drop over one day. And that's it. Thank you so much, and good night.